Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to clean, smoothen out, tape up, and seam seal a door skin. Let's get to work. basically like a very hard scotch bright and what this does is that this smoothens out and cleans up all those rough edges that was made by the body man when they were hammering in the edges so basically if you don't know what a door skin is for those of you who don't know it's the outer skin of a door that the body man removes if there's too much damage to repair it with body feather so then the Body man removes the old damaged door skin and puts a new one in and then seals it in by hammering in all the edges. And then it comes into the paint shop after smoothing it out, smoothing out all the edges where, that, where the body man hammered it and then seam sealed it. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Let's get to work. And in case you guys were wondering exactly the kind of scotch bright I'm using, this is a 3M scotch bright. 3M Scotch Bright, and you should be able to see that number right there is 74.85. And these are little roll-like discs that are basically hard, they're like hard Scotch Brights. And they just, they're very good at removing and smoothing, smoothing and out things without overly aggressively leaving too many grind marks like a grinder board, right? So, that is a very good thing to use. Mm. Now, just to cover all the bases, we're only gonna smoothen out the area that was hammered by the bottom. So, let's say you see, you see how rough these areas are? These are the only areas that need to get smoothened out and then we're gonna tape it up and seam seal those areas. So remember that. It's only the area that was hammered and you have to smooth that out and that's it. And then we seam seal. show you the before and after how this looks just before I keep finishing up I'm gonna finish up but I want to show you the before and after of the difference of how it looks before you grind it out with the roll like this and after you grind it out the smoothness the difference I want to show you see this area this is the area I just did you see how much smoother it looks it looks a lot smoother and this is what it looks like without the grind. See the difference? The big difference. You can't just hit that with a regular scuff pad. You can't hit this with a regular scuff pad and think it's gonna be this smooth. And trying to DA it is impossible because the DA doesn't really work in here that well. So this method works very well. So let's put it try. This is a pen blower. Every painter should have one of these. These go in your pocket, it's always with you, and you're always gonna need to blow something off when you're painting, always. So if you don't have a pen blower, 
get yourself a permanent one. Okay, I'm gonna be using three quarter inch tape. Tape up around all these edges. I'm taping up the outer edge. Make sure you stay within a quarter inch of the outer edge. I'm taping up the outer edge. And keep, I don't know, what's this? Like a three quarter inch thick. About a three quarter inch thickness of the seam sealer bead that you want to apply around the board. That's another thing, keep that in mind. I'm gonna show you how I tape it up and how it looks afterwards. Okay, before we even start taping up for the seam sealer, what you wanna do is, for that way, you won't have to wait till the seam sealer completely dries. Scotch bright the door inside. Get it all ready, tape it up. Tape everything up. Once everything is all taped up, then start getting ready for the seam sealer. That way you don't have to wait for the seam sealer to dry because you do have to scuff all this stuff down with a scotch bright and then you can put your seam sealer down. Maybe how it looks. Grab the sealer. You want to try to get within exactly where the factory seam sealer was, the old seam sealer. And I'm going to go in about a quarter inch and then I'm going to tape up where the old factory seam sealer was removed. So keep, in, keep that in mind when you're taping it up for seam sealer. This is the old factory. I'm gonna tape right within that line. As best as possible. Not gonna be perfect, but as best as possible. It can be a little tricky in some of the more curvy areas. So you gotta kind of manipulate it into those curvy areas. Keep that in mind. Once you got both pieces of tape, both sides, and you're ready to seam sealer, just make sure and go around and push some of the tape down to make sure it's nice and tight. That way when you put the seam sealer on, the tape's not lifting off and then you have a, a little bit of an accident and a seam sealer edge that doesn't look nice and crispy. So just go around it pushing it, pushing it down, make sure the tape is not coming off anywhere. And once you do that, once you do that, it's time to seam seal. We're ready guys, let's go. Okay, so the kind of seam sealer I'm using is a mixing tube seam sealer. There's two tubes, in one then it mixes into this tip which mixes the two the two sides together causing a catalyst that makes it harden and dry faster and it tells you right here work time 10 minutes dry time 15 minutes you could paint this within 10 or 15 minutes it should be good so there's usually extra tips you change the old tip you put a new tip this is an acid brush. This is what we use to brush the seam sealer on and smoothing it out when to put it on. Let me show you what I mean. And I have a seam sealer gun that's going to be needed also in this application. Luckily, the seam sealer gun I have is not manual. It's air operated. So I have to kind of break my wrist and my hands trying to do that, which is helpful because you know over time that will cause you some discomfort and pain, arthritis. So let me get my seam sealer gun and show you what I need. Okay, now I'm ready to seam seal. Let's go guys. Let me show you.
done with that, all you have to do now is remove the tape. Do not wait for the seam tailor to dry. It will not come off properly. Take this tape right off, right after you finish seam sealing. That way it leaves a nice, smooth, clean edge. Okay guys, we're all done. The seam seal is on. Let it dry for like 10 minutes and you should be able to paint it within 10 minutes. So let me show you what the final product look like. This is how you get a nice factory seam seal. Once you're done, it should look pretty good, right? Check it out. It's basically almost to where the factory specs were or the factory seam sealer. It's still not dry, but I mean, check it out. And that's basically it, guys. That's how you get a nice factory seam seal on a door skin. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if there's anything that you would like to know about painting and body shop stuff, hit me up on the comment section. Don't be afraid to ask, and I'll do my best to answer it or make a video about it. So, see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace. Bye.